So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your um, matte or chrome grills gloss black. Um, so instead of paying, you know, $40, $50 online, you can go ahead and do it yourself. So, so this is the side that I haven't done yet. Um, they wear chrome, um, if you can kind of tell from up top. You can see the chrome, but now they are plastic dipped. Uh, they're starting to peel, and I'm getting tired of the matte look, so I want to gloss, and I really like it, so go ahead and do it to the other side. So what you're going to be needing um, to start off is you're going to need to clean the grill. Like prep work is really important for this, so go ahead and take some alcohol. Go get ahead, go ahead and get a rag if you have like chrome or something, or if it, there's stock mat. And go ahead and wipe it down really well so there's no dirt, no debris, uh, so it all, all looks really nice. I have them dipped, so I'm going to have to go ahead and peel it off. I didn't make the layer too thick, so I'm going to do a little bit of scrubbing to get all this off. But once I do, I'll get back to you guys. Just make sure they look really clean, and uh, then we'll get off to the masking. So now I'm going to put on the first coat and I'm going to do this for um, maybe like three coats. So we go the first one. I'm gonna do one more coat of black. I think I'm gonna stick to two coats just because I'm running low on paint. And uh, we'll, we'll see where we are from there. your um, <clears throat> two to three coats on um, you can go ahead and apply a clear coat it's the same way you uh, apply the um, regular paint um, I'm actually not gonna show this in my clip because I'm actually not gonna be putting on a clear coat for this set I just want to see what the difference is gonna be between the side I did put the clear co coat on and this one so I'm not gonna be putting on the clear coat but again it's pretty simple same same thing as I did same steps um, now you can go ahead and remove the tape you know, all the masking that you've done. And your gloss should be done. Let it dry for maybe a few hours before you go ahead and put it on the actual car, you know, just of, you know, just in case the paint is still soft because of like, you can get like paint chips from like rocks, and debris that's flying at your car, but maybe even wait a day. But the finished product should look like this. I don't know if you can see too well, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the car and show you the two sides, all finished, gloss black. So, see you in a second.